Now let's calculate clearance total. So let's use this space to calculate clearance total. Clearance total, there are several ways we can calculate. One way is using K10 times VC. Okay, let's calculate that because we have K10 information already. 0 0.61 is K10 hour inverse times what is VC? VC is 33.69. If you multiply that, we'll have a value of 20.65. I'm going to write this here 20.65. All right, now let's move this a little bit down. And hmm, there's another way we can calculate the clearance total. There is uh, clearance total is equal to dose or AUC. Okay, clearance total is equal to dose or AUC. I hope you remember this from one compartment IV policy equation, right? So, what is dose? 1000 milligrams is the dose, that's what we said. What is AUC? Hmm, we have no idea what is AUC is. Let's calculate AUC now. AUC is A or alpha plus B or beta, right? So, what is A? We are aware A is what? 7.50. 7.50 divided by alpha, it's 1.73 plus B that is 22.18 or beta that is 0 0.21. If you solve this, you will get an answer of 48.43. Okay, so now again come back to the clearance dose or AUC 1000 milligrams over AUC that is 48.43. Okay, so what is the value, guys? Obviously, it's liter per hour, right? So, mg per liter times hour is the units for AUC, and mg, mg cancel, and you are left with liter per hour, and the value is, clearance total is 20.65, so 20.65, there is another method we can calculate clearance total, we'll get back to that, but let's go and calculate the VD beta first here, okay, let's calculate VD beta first. So VD beta, okay. So how do you calculate the VD beta, by the way? It's clearance total over beta. Okay, so what is the clearance total we have? Clearance total, just now we calculate 20.65, right? So 20.65 divided by the beta, what is beta slope? is uh, 0.21 if I'm not, yes, 0 0.21, 0 0.21, if you solve this, you'll get a beta value of 98.11, oh, 98.11, so this is one way to solve VD beta, okay, and there is also other way to calculate a VD beta, I'll show you just now, uh, the formula for VD beta is that is dose over AUC, VD beta is dose over AUC, because here, VD beta, right? So what is clearance, by the way? Clearance is nothing but dose over AUC. I hope you remember this, dose over AUC, okay? So dose over AUC times beta, right? So we are using this equation now. What is dose? 1000 milligrams divided by what is AUC? Just now we calculated AUC here, guys. It's 48.43. Let's write this here, 48.43. Okay, so 48.43 times what is beta? The beta slope is 0.21, right? Here beta, so this is beta here. Okay, if you solve for this, you'll get the same value that we got just now for the VD beta, that is 98.11. Okay, so let's mention this here, it's VD beta is 98.11. And we are left with the calculation of VD extrapolated calculation. How do you calculate VD extrapolated? As we discussed in the class, VD extrapolated formula is called dose divided by B intercept the dose is 1000 milligrams 
Okay, and what is B intercept is in 22.18. mg per liter right so I'm gonna leave that in the numerator so mg mg cancel and we have value of again VD extrapolated is 133.39 okay okay guys just look at this equation again Concentration is equal to dose divided by volume. I hope you remember this equation all the time we're discussing again and again. So here, the concentration, if I need to calculate, use generally used CP concentration at time zero. The B intercept is also the hypothetical extrapolated concentration at time zero, right? So the, the VD that we calculate at time zero using the B intercept is called VD, VD extrapolated. So the final a parameter that we need to calculate is KE. Okay, Clay clearance total is equal to KE times VDSS. So we have the value of KE. Okay, K, uh, sorry, uh, we had we're finding the value of KE. So we know the value of clearance total that is 20.65. KE we have to find out, and VDSS is 75.32. This is in liters, and this is in liter per hour. Latest 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 cancel and K is equal to 0 0.274 or inverse. That is it.